three. This is The Herd, wherever you may be and however you may be listening. Live in Los Angeles, iHeartRadio, Fox Sports Radio, and FF1. Uh, I gave my 19 reasons why the Patriots will beat the Jags. Rob Parker was incensed. He did pick the Jags to beat the Steelers. He's picking the Jags to beat the Patriots. And I'm told he will have 19 reasons why the Jags beat the Patriots. After about two, I have no idea what the next 17 are. But he will have 19 reasons um, the Jags will beat the Patriots. Christine Leahy is joining me for hour number three. Uh, by the way, she does, uh, before we get to anything else, uh, you do have a reason Kyrie Irving jersey isn't so high I now feel. this is your belief i'm mean, not it's, saying it's, it's right fact. okay what's your fact because there's for boston fans they have a lot of options on jerseys to buy so gordon hayward even though he's not playing it was his first year on the team too so a lot of people went and spent their money on his jersey and there's some rookies that are options too yeah. steph has the nba's leading jersey sale you could buy clays or draymonds or yeah but they've all been there for a while it's not a new player Gordon Jason. Hayward is another new player so you kind of have to divide those I actually think it's very impressive that Kyrie is as high as he is given the fact that Gordon Hayward's on the team those Jason Tatum jerseys are everywhere in America well there's that too in Boston there's definitely a lot of Jason Tatum jerseys okie dokie hey you mean, can't argue with facts <laughs> uh, by the way Drew Brees is a free agent and he's I want you to listen to this and it dry just just here's what Drew Brees said yesterday he's a free agent it's the same way I felt two days ago, the same way I f felt 12 years ago. That is that I'll be here as long as they'll have me, hopefully. We're just two days removed, you know? Um, I really haven't given it a ton of thought um, other than, you know, I know where my mindset's been the whole time, and that is that I'll be here. Gah! Look at this, folks. Nine different categories. Drew Brees is the all-time leader, and he won't explore free agency? Drives me nuts. We're in a profession where there are certain limitations on the length of it. Take advantage when you rarely have leverage. I don't think that's being greedy. That's what the owner of the company does. I've had, you know how many bosses I've had leave me for better jobs? You know how many owners I've worked for who have sold things or bought things for better opportunities? I can do this for a long time, but a pro athlete, and let's talk NFL here, in a sport that's got regulated violence, there are limitations to how long you can play. So when you have leverage, I would strongly encourage you to use it. And yet, quarterbacks never do in the NFL. Drew Brees, right now, first, second, third best quarterback in the league, says... He doesn't plan on testing free agency. Now, he can't be franchised. He doesn't plan on testing free agency. Drew, have you seen Jacksonville's defense? <laughs> have you seen Denver's defense? Have you seen Minnesota's defense? They don't have a quarterback for next year yet. If Drew Brees hit the market, Minnesota with Drew Brees, um, next year's Super Bowl is set from the NFC. Jacksonville, Denver, Arizona would all make bids. They would, they would make bids. I mean, Minnesota's got Case Keenum, often hurt Sam Bradford, Teddy Bridgewater, <laughs> and some four-string guy. You don't think they'd make a, big, a, a bid on Drew Brees? Think about this. In America's number one sport, NFL, the number one position quarterback, and Drew Brees is the third best at it on the planet. There are days he's the best. No, I'm not, I'm not going to test the free agent market. Colin, he loves New Orleans. He likes Super Bowls more, I assure you. Remember in 2010 when Peyton Manning was a free agent, really hit the market? I mean, Pete Carroll drove to the airport. And Jim Harbaugh flew cross country. And, and he was coming off a fourth surgery. Breeze is healthy. Just came off one of his best games ever. I don't get it. Let me give you three reasons why Drew Brees should strongly consider hitting the market. Number one, New Orleans had three losing seasons before this season. This is not New England. This is not Green Bay. This is not even Pittsburgh. They are hot and cold. They're now hot. It won't last. Number two is Drew Brees lost Sunday. 
in large part to a coaching staff mistake where they called a timeout late and didn't tell a rookie safety, hey, kid, wrap him up. Don't go for the pick. Don't go for the interception. Yeah, this play was off a timeout. That's not good coaching. They're at least as culpable as the kid. And number three, Sean Payton is not aging terribly well. There have been multiple incidents this year, a throat slash, mocking the Minnesota crowd. He has gotten the choke sign at Devontae Freeman, yelling at Dirk Cutter, penalty at the end of the first game against Atlanta. I'm not going to dive too deep into this. It's juvenile. If a high school football coach did that, the principal would call him in on Monday or the athletic director and say, hey, coach, scale back. If a college coach did a skull chant, a choke sign, yelled at an opposing coach, had a penalty at the end of a first game against Atlanta, a college athletic director on Monday would say, coach, scale it back. Three, four strange, emotionally juvenile incidents with Sean Payton this year. No idea what's going on there. Have my suspicions, but it's time to at least test the market. Okay. This is not New England or Green Bay, where they're in the playoffs every year. They were a mess for three years. They've had five defensive coordinators in 11 years. Your coach has gone zany, and that coaching staff did a poor job of supporting you on Sunday late in the game. It is absolutely remarkable to me that a smart guy like Drew Brees, who I'm sure as a really smart agent, could test the market and he's not interested. Hey, man, he's a legend forever in New Orleans. And I'm not saying he doesn't love the city, but he loves Super Bowls more. They all do. You don't get this good without being concerned about yourself, number one, and your family. And Drew is and should be. But it is remarkable how a marginal NBA player can hold a franchise hostage and that a star quarterback who could go to Super Bowls with the right fit at a perfect exit point, won't even consider free agency? Four words. I don't get it. But I do get Rob Parker, the FS1 instigator, coming to the show. Yes, he predicted the Jags would beat the Steelers. Yes, it was remarkable courage. The thin... You're like one of those products, the new and improved. Is that right? <laughs> I've improved since I came to L.A. No, you're new and improved. You feel, you look healthy. You've got a lot of energy. So I gave 19 reasons why the Patriots would beat the Jags, and they were all serious reasons. There was data. There was research. I was kind of a jerk at the end and just showed the five rings. I was going to say, that was kind of jerky right there. Okay, so you've got 19 reasons. Why yes. The, and then you're taking this seriously. Very, very seriously. I think don't poo-poo the uh, Jaguars. Okay. So can we do that? I need some music. John, where's some music? Yeah, John. John, throw me some music up there. We got it? Okay, yeah. there we go. Uh, just think about this. They have the second best defense in the league. That's, that's a real reason. That's a real reason. I mean, generally. They've scored 40 points or more three times this season. Patriots have only done it once. Coughlin has beaten Belichick in two Super Bowls, and he didn't even cheat. Coughlin also uh, has, has a 5-2 and two record against Belichick in his career, and he did it without the uh, defensive signals of the other team. Uh, come on, that's your I'm top. I'm just throwing it in there. That's your top four. Okay, we got some more. Uh, Blake Bartles, right, is... Uh, a better quarterback than Eli Manning was. was. And and think about this. In his fourth year. A exactly. And uh, Bartles also, I thought we got, do we have the full screen or no? We don't have it? Okay. Throw it up there. We, we also have, he has a, okay, here we go. Uh, Blake Bortles, a fourth season like Eli, right, 2007. Bortles has a better quarterback than Eli was. Bortles also had a better passer rating than Eli had. Bortles had more touchdown passes than Eli had. He had the same exact interceptions as Eli had. These are real numbers. And Bortles is 100 times more mobile than Eli. I don't think that's statistically accurate, but continue. Something around there, all you're, right. You're kind Brady of at this lost. point, you're kind of taking <laughs> your own, uh, you know. Brady lost in the conference uh, championship to Flacco and an old Peyton Manning. How about that? That's true. 
Fournette and uh, Bartles are playoffs dominant rushers. It's Bortles, but keep on. Bortles, I'll keep saying Bartles it. Bartles was a wine cooler. Was a wine cooler. I, was, I remember that when I was in college. Yeah. Uh, Bortles has a more average rushing yard than anyone this postseason. How's that? In conference championships, Brady is at his worst. Is We've it? seen that. What time out? That's kind of a. I, I don't what? When he's had those real stinkers, when they've lost. We've seen those bad games in the conference championship. Yeah, okay. All right. Brady struggles against elite uh, pass rushers, and you got to admit that. Most, well, most, so, does, so does mostly every quarterback, but, but Brady does. Yeah. Saxonville is a cool nickname. Patriots don't have one. Yeah, dynasties generally don't. They're just called dynasties. Is that what it is? Yeah. And, and, uh, the Jaguars are the best team ever from London. <laughs> oh. They're also the best that's team. That's, that's, that's pathetic. They're also uh, the best team that have a couple games in Mars every year, but we'll leave that out. And uh, Bartles in, uh, I mean, uh, uh, and, and uh, Taurus. Bartles is a Taurus. Right. Why is, is that a good Zodiac sign? Because the bull, right? The bull is a good, strong element, uh, animal. And the other thing is, wheatgrass does not grow in January. That so that hurts and, Brady. And Tom Brady loves wheatgrass. Right? Yeah, I, I think some of these were sort of a stretch. You think so? And also, one last one. I threw in the 20th okay, one. Okay, what's the 20th? Because there's just so much more. Uh, the the Jaguars would eat the goat. Well, wow. Did you see that? Jaguars would eat the goat. You had some graphic help today. Well, the staff really, really they really backed you on they, that. They had to wow. give me something. I had to come up with 20 reasons. Okay, I'll, I'll make you. I just lost a bet to Michael Rappaport, uh, dinner at Mastro's. You don't eat meat anymore, do you? No, I do. Are you kidding me? I'm having lamb chops tonight. Are oh, you are? Yes. Oh, that's delicious. I love me. So how about we make a bet on, uh, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I've never been, let's make a bet. Let's do a bet on this game. Yeah. You're going to give me nine and a half points too or no? No, just we're just up. betting the game. No, I don't need points. I believe they're going to win. So what do you want to bet? How about this? We'll go to the Mastros in Malibu for that one. Let's do that. Yeah, I don't. That Malibu's way out there for me. It's out there on the little island. I, don't I haven't been out there, so let's make oh, that it's happen. It's supposed to be beautiful. And if it's on your dime, I'll really enjoy it. Okay, so you, we're going to bet a dinner at Malibu Mastros. Nobody in the world outside of L.A. knows what the heck we're talking about. I need to get about. these kind of bets. I love this. I'm going tomorrow with uh, Rappaport. You so yeah. you lost to him? Yeah, no, he. I, I thought the Steelers would beat Jacksonville. The, of all your, the, the the one thing you've said that I that I do buy into is I do think Coughlin's a factor. Um, I think Tom's the adult in the room. Look at how absurd and comical and juvenile the Giants have become since Tom left. I was talking about this the other day, Rob. In my lifetime, the smartest guy in the NFL is the most copied. In the fifties, it was um, Paul Brown. He started scouting. He built coaching staffs. In the 60s, it was the very progressive Vince Lombardi, progressive on race, uh, gay rights, way before his time. Then you went into Bill Walsh, West Coast offense. Then it was Parcells, Jimmy Johnson personnel. Now it's Belichick. Coughlin left Boston College. They've never recovered. Left Jacksonville. They deteriorate. Goes, wins Super Bowls in New York. Leaves New York. They deteriorate now. Where you, they, Literally, the kids are running the asylum, the room. And now he goes back to Jacksonville. St 22 wins in six years, and overnight they're good. I think Coughlin, it's not like a secret sauce, Rob. I think he is a grown-up, and I think he's one of the all-time grown-ups in NFL history. I think he's in that Lombardi class, but we just, listen. But just, he was close. you got to admit, before he was close to he had to change when he was with the Giants before they won that that first Super Bowl. He was you remember very, that? Oh, his face would turn purple. He looked like a plum. He I, exactly, just, and remember, remember he used to, Ch chastise the guys for saying they got a 10 a.m. meeting, and if you didn't show up at 9.55, you were late. You know, remember that? Yeah. That stuff that was going on, and the players had to finally shake them out of that. But he is a, a factor. There's no doubt about it. But I'm going to tell you, the other factor is this is the kind of team, and you just mentioned it, most quarterbacks, if you get to them and, and disrupt them. But yeah. Tom Brady, you can't give time. You have to disrupt. They have the young up guys up front. Calais Campbell. Yes, those guys who can do this and, and they didn't play that great against uh, uh, Pittsburgh and they wound up winning the game, right? You got 45 points. I thought points. they played pretty... No, the defense wasn't great. Here's the one thing. Just think about this. They were... Jacksonville was 5-for-5 five five in the red zone against Pittsburgh. Okay, that's, that's remarkable against the Browns. If they just go 4-of-5... of five, let, Let's say they go 3-of-5 in the red zone against New England... That in itself is eight, an eight-point difference. I don't think you can give up touchdowns to New England. There's no way in the world 
they're going to go five for five in red zone opportunities against But New also, I, I agree with you. I also don't believe that you'll see two fourth down touchdowns of 40 or more yards, which they gave up. And the other thing, too, is you got to remember this from a defensive standpoint. When you're up 28 to 7, it changes. You know what I mean? The intensity changes. Yeah, the There's no doubt about it, right? You, you got this three touchdown well, lead. Well, Minnesota led 17 nothing and didn't play with a great, didn't play the same third quarter. There's no sense of urgency. There's right. a little bit different, and you take your foot off the gas. I don't think they'll give up that kind of that amount of points. I think they'll beat the Patriots, and it'll be something like 23 to 17. That's where I'm going. So you you got Jacksonville. I got Jacksonville. Can you imagine being NBC and stuck with that clunker? <laughs> no, I. They can't be too happy. Nick Foles meets Blake Bortles. I I, I, if, I that's one of those. If I didn't work in this industry, I may go. You out. would not pass on the Super Bowl, would you? I got to be honest. Or you wouldn't pay attention. When's as the much? last time there was a big game you passed on? I'll, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. Last year, Eastern Conference NBA playoffs. I would turn games in for eight minutes. I'm out. Absolutely. Those LeBron Cavs games, Rob, I would watch ten minutes. They're up by nine. I'm like, I'm out of here. It's all done. It's right. done. They're, they're, uh, generally, I won't miss a biggie, but there have been playoff series. Come on, Golden State in the West. It's a joke. Last year, didn't they only lose one game the whole uh, a run and leading that was up to when, it? I think, yeah, they lost one game. Didn't somebody get absurdly, historically hot? Yeah. yeah, Celtics for a game. No, 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 I'm talking about the Warriors. The Warriors. It was one game, I thought. Yeah, that they... the Cav yeah game four of the finals. Cavs got absurdly hot. Otherwise, they don't lose a game in the playoffs. Right. That was a five-game sweep. That was that was the uh, five-game sweep uh, in the finals. You know finals. what? I don't even need any more from you. I you sure? Loved, I loved your Jags take. I, don't need, I want you to go home and uh, just get prepared for, to buy me a big fat steak. You think so? Yeah, I really do. I can't wait for the meal. I'm really I, – I will eat big. I might even throw in a baked potato that day. Dude, you weigh, you look like a number two pencil. No, You're come honest on. To God. I don't look skinny, do I? Don't Stand say up that. right now. You're thin, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I don't look skinny. I look good. I'm tall. I'm six well, foot four. Well, what's wrong with skinny doesn't mean you don't look good. No, but I don't want to be like a, a pencil or a rail. You're thin. No, I think you look uh, You look good. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think um, really little, I do a few more push-ups. This is cute, guys. <laughs> A few more push-ups. <laughs> All right. Buy, All right. Buy a seller holds around the corner. Rob Parker, thank you, bud. It's a new year. Time to work on imperfections and better yourself. Do you know 66% of men lose their hair by age 35? Rob Parker's got his hair. Rob Parker does have his hair. He's 35. You do. You, and, um, and, I, and I feel bad if you're 35 years old and you're bald. That, by the way, I, I would not look good bald. I have massive ears. You would look great. But if you don't want to be bald, there's a site called 4 It's a one-stop shop for hair loss and skin care. It's medical-grade solutions, real doctors, well-known generic equivalents. You're not talking herbal supplements here. No waiting room, no awkward doctor visit. You say hours going to 4 and they deliver stuff directly to your door. Now, right now, my listeners get a trial month of everything that you need to keep your hair, and it's just 5 bucks. And do it now because it's not going to last very long. 5 bucks. And you get a trial supply. Go to their website for details. And the website's real easy. 4, F-O-R, and H-I-M-S. 4 hymns.com slash Colin. 4 hymns.com slash Colin. It's a big game Saturday. 11th ranked Xavier versus 19th ranked Seton Hall. Saturday at 2 Eastern. 